So Ario Loiter checks in for the Raiders. Alexa Perotti sits. So Loiter now trying to beat this full court press and a sophomore knows a thing or two about elite basketball and she's having a couple of threes here, a little short on that lead pass, but she met Steph Curry a couple of times as part of the team to help him promote his Under Armour Curry 2s out in Asia. Grew up in Singapore and there are the shoes. Loiter was a big part in helping Curry spread his message and spread his shoe over to her neck of the woods. But Aria Loiter, the first player to play D1 basketball born in Singapore. So unbelievable. It almost seems like it couldn't be true that she could be the first one. It's amazing. interesting with Brody out, you know, everybody kind of knows that the offense runs through Brody, so I think without her, it's a completely different way that they have to set things up. And Miller finds Loiter. That's Curry. Taking a play out of the playbook of her mentor, Steph Curry there, and all of a sudden Colgate showing some offensive life late in the third. And one thing about this Colgate team, win, lose, or draw, is that they are not going to give up, and I think that that's so Syracuse coming back from Paradise Island, three losses in the battle for Atlantis, and they come back to the Dome to face a Colgate team that's trying to find their identity. Syracuse, some question marks after that first quarter, just a narrow four-point lead over a team that was picked to finish last in the Patriot League preseason poll. McMahon lost her handle, five to shoot. It's Loiter picking up the crumbs, ball fake, and a deuce. Syracuse probably came back feeling unhappy about their performance in the battle for Atlantis, but I just think that they're also... Well, stamina is something that Syracuse has been built on over the past few years, and Ron Reed did not want to change the style of play from last year with a different roster. He wants to shoot the threes, wants to push in transition, wants to press, and they've been doing that well. And I think something in Syracuse's favor this year is, even though there are so many changes as far as personnel, Ron Reed has been on this staff since the 2011-2012 season, so there's some familiarity. Aria Loiter again. She connects on her second three of the day. 